Deny, blame, change the channel. Mr. Speaker, every day the Conservatives come up with a new story to divert attention away from Conservative election fraud. The problem is their story is starting to stumble on itself. Early last week it was the kid from Guelph. Then the Prime Minister told us it was Liberal call centres in the United States and the Conservatives had never hired any call centres, which was false. Now we find that the Conservative Party thinks it's Elections Canada who is behind robo-fraud. So, Mr. Speaker, what is it this week? Do they believe with the, uh, agree with the member from Saskatoon, Wanesco, in now, that Elections Canada is trying to make this government look bad? Who is it? The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary of the Prime Minister. Well, Mr. Speaker, once again, it's very clear the opposition has a hard time accepting the results of the last election. But it's also clear, and it's factual, Mr. Speaker, it's a fact. It's an absolute fact that the Liberal Party, the Liberal Party paid millions of dollars to contact hundreds of thousands of households right across this country, Mr. Speaker. It appears that apparently they gave some people incorrect information. They may have even called them at, at inappropriate times a day, Mr. Speaker. But the Liberal leader is sitting on all of these facts, won't release their phone records. I think he should have to. But something's also clear. These allegations demean the voters of this country. The Honourable Member for Timmins, James Bay. I'll tell you what demeans the voters of this country, Mr. Speaker. Whether it's Vladimir Putin or Pierre Putin, citizens have a right to vote without being interfered with they're having a monkey wrench. And they deserve better than to have a minister stand up day after day and mislead the Canadian people. Last week, the Minister of Defence said it was a kid from Guelph. Case closed. Well, now they're saying we don't know what's going on in Guelph. Now we're hearing that the Conservative Party is trying to blame Elections Canada because obviously blaming the, the little Liberal Party isn't following through either. So why would this government stop playing the blame game and come clean with the electoral fraud that's happened under their watch in their party? The Honourable Parliamentary Secretary to the Prime Minister. Mr. Speaker, I'm not trying to blame the little Liberal Party, nor, nor am I, nor, my little nor, nor am I attacking the uh, the uh, the uh, outrageous allegations of the NDP. I'm merely pointing out, Mr. Speaker, that they have been making these baseless smears for more than a week. There is no substance substance for their for their argument, Mr. Speaker. Our campaign, as our, as our uh, campaign manager said yesterday, has repeated and others have came forward, we were absolutely punctilious in following all the rules of election. <laughs>